projects that we're working on today. We got the trailer right here and we're cleaning out all of this area. All of that area right there. Uh, all of that will be cleaning out and we're putting it all in here and this is going to make good compost for the um, pumpkin patch we're getting. We got some wood right here that we're going to probably put on the burn pile and every so often we come up with one of these things one of these brick thingies so and another thing we're working on that pile over there well the trees in the way right now but this pile right there this is going to turn into this pile right there I've started burning today. And just another day on the farm. Right there. I'm trying to keep the camera out of the smoke, but I don't know. You ever you ever be at a campfire and no matter what position you sit, the smoke always gets into your face? Well that we're having the same thing over here. This pile used to be like that, a little bit bigger. And over there, right over there, we've been feeding it just sticks and twigs and every so often we get a big branch like that, but we're gonna break that down. And all of this area will be our pumpkin patch. It'll be our pumpkin patch. These trees, we're cut, going to be cutting these down, those down, and that stick right there, that's just something I'm poking the fire with. <laughs> so, and we have this shed right here, which had vines all over it, and the roof seems pretty good. There are a few spots that, you know, need, need some repair, but... We got this garage door thingy working again. We're working again on that. And uh, we found some of these big metal poles. And I pulled this branch down. This branch was hanging right here, right above the thing, so I pulled it down. It was a couple of feet away from it. And then we're gonna go back here, and we this back here had vines all over it. We had to cut them down, and the roof still has some twigs and leaves and stuff like that. But I don't think I'm gonna tackle that today. So anyway, and this is our other field that we're going to be cleaning up a bit and while we're cleaning up a bit we're going to mark off some areas to start planting Christmas trees anyway another day in the life of living on a farm we only have about four acres here if, you, if you're asking but all of these trees are coming out with a chainsaw and our burn pile is seeming to be fueling out we're going to have to poke it but it's still way too hot it's way too hot in there so and Arvin's coming he like has smoke skinning in his face too. Say hi Arvin. Hi Arvin. How <laughs> you doing? See. Who? Who yeah, are you talking to? YouTube. Who's YouTube? <laughs> okay. Hmm? <laughs> internet people. People on the internet. Oh, hi internet people. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're working. Yeah, another day in the life, huh? Yeah, another day in the life of 
I don't know what you call it. A Christmas tree farm. <laughs> yeah. But it might be Christmas before we get any planted, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, did I turn up? Yeah, I did. Okay, and here's Sarvan getting some more working with the fire, trying to get it to burn a little better. And yeah, it seems to be picking up a little bit more too. So instead of just smoldering, we're starting to see flames. That's hot, yeah. Well, don't stand there too long. I'm getting it. Getting it piled in. Yeah. We want to pile more wood up here to burn. Alright. Burn all that. Alright. This is what we've done today. Uh, cleaned out all that. There's big pile of leaves and all that other junk. We're going to be working on this tomorrow. But it's only going to this post over here. That little electric post or whatever. And we got all that done right there. So nothing, nothing on that side. Again, we're gonna come back in and get everything off the concrete and try and find our driveway back. And on a recap, we're gonna go, and there's our John Deere parked right inside the driveway garage and the last of the burning bush brush whatever you want to call it burning bush okay it's not actually a bush but it is if you consider all the wood we put on it we just put a last pile of leaves on it And seems to have been, you know, it's taken most of the day to get there, but it got there. I think. A lot of this stuff, you know, there's probably some wood buried under the ash in places, and we got some leaves. So we've just dumped two trailer loads of leaves on it. And, uh, Probably about 36 cubic feet of leaves, or 30 anyway, or probably more. But we just did two loads of leaves, and yeah, we just did two loads loads of leaves, and we're gonna let that burn down tonight or during the day. We gotta make sure it's out by nightfall. Yeah, just because of uh, code and stuff like that. We got a burn permit, but they want us to have it out by night. <laughs> or by the time the sun goes down. Which, hopefully, hopefully it'll burn itself out tonight. Well, we'll see. And, uh... That pile is maybe about two feet high. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but yeah. It's about two feet high right now. And it was it was high, higher than that earlier, and we kept feeding it most of the day. So it's probably burned a pretty good amount. Yeah. And the second thought, this area, I showed you a picture of it before. And that is all gone. After we used uh, our little bush hog on it, well, we like to call it, I'll go in that in a minute. It took all that stuff out, and then I, I went over it with a lawnmower and just mulched it all up. 
so and Arvin's trying to dig this little tree branch out and it's buried in concrete and our little bush hog is right here I hope there's enough light It's right here. Now, what this is, it's a Southland string trimmer, is what they call it. It's two cycles, 17 inch. And this is great. This is what cut down the little bitty trees and everything. I mean, it, it, yeah, it chopped the tree in half. A little bitty one, you know, there's little little ones that are about the size of your finger so first glance yeah I'd, I'd buy one well I did but yeah you should buy one and and it's light too it doesn't weigh anything and you pull it push it with one hand you know it's real simple really lightweight and you could angle it to do edges and stuff like that. So that whole shaft turns into about a 30 degree angle and you could do edging and stuff like that with it. It comes with a few other parts. It comes with a few other attachments which is a blower and an edger I believe. So if you want to get down and dirty and do your edging like you know have a two inch hole all around your grass you could do that too I guess um, yeah. but it's getting to be about time to pull the car back up to the driveway and um, we'll work some more on this tomorrow we should be able to get all of it out tomorrow and uh, Stuff like that, and now it's time to clean up. That'll look a lot better. Yeah. Look and there's a John Deere in its parking spot. And this little trailer behind it is awesome. Guys, the guys at Brindley and Hardy did a great job. You know, 17 inch, it's a dump cart. You could buy it at Home Depot. I think they're about 320 or so. But check this out. You got a pedal right there. You push on that pedal, and boom, there it goes. Did that fall out? They were stuck in there. Nope. There it goes. It's and you could, uh, you know, all this stuff right here. It, it'll eventually come out, but. It, it's made pretty well, really well, strong. I like it. I love it. And, you know, I was asked about this. What Are you worried about breaking it or anything like that? You know, this is really hard, tough plastic. I'll tell you, I'm more worried about popping a tire in the backyard or, you know, in the field rather than breaking it. And we got this little thing right here, the kingpin thing. I don't know. Um, yeah. The kingpin, that little yellow handle you can pull up on, and it pulls the pins right there out. I mean, in. And um, that's it. I really love that. That's a lot better than taking out a cotter pin every time you have to change out the trailer. And, uh, you know, it is used. We've had, I think it has just under five hours on it. And we've used it, you know, quite a bit. This is our little big tractor. And it's a good buy. I think we got a pretty good deal on it at John Deere, so. And it's the E170, and the, they have the E180. It's the exact same tractor, except the wheels are like a quarter inch bigger. You know, so. 
and it's hydrostatic transmission and it's got two pedals, one's forward, one's reverse and it's got the PTO switch for your mower engagement right there and it's got a key, oh, i got to take the key out <laughs> it's got a key right there start ignition and it's got a steering wheel and the seat and this little thing I don't know, that's just something they put in but it was, it's like a lumbar support you turn it one way and it it, it fills up this this area not with air or anything but I think there's like a um, piece of plastic in there that just goes that way okay and that's your these are the hours on it yeah it even has the out let me try and get the hours for you okay let's see 4.7 hours so it hasn't even needed its first service yet but we've run it pretty good so we're gonna we might do it before and there's the parking brake and you can set the parking brake and it's got uh, it's got this which I think it locks the parking brake down you can push the parking brake in and then push this thing down and it'll lock it so if you ever on a hill or nothing anything and you need to get out just push the parking brake in and push that thing down and it will work. Now this is mow in reverse. Okay. I'm not, I haven't really needed to mow, I wanted to mow in reverse, but I don't know. I don't know about that thing. <laughs> but it's there if you need it. I usually just turn around and re-mow it anyway. <laughs> you know. So. But yeah, under the hood, under, oh wow, this is turning into a John Deere <laughs> uh, thing. Uh, under the hood, that's the air sucker in or blower out, something like that. Got a little dirty. Under that thing, that's your air filter. Your exhaust is up here. And this is the one uh, I like, easy change. 30 second oil change, however it does not change all of your oil. So, every so often you need to get a complete oil change done in here. Um, but there is a drain pan or a drain plug for it underneath. I haven't found it yet. I'm not worried about it right now, so, because I'm not doing it. And the seat does adjust got like a little adjuster okay and it's got uh, stuff you can put a pocket you know you put stuff in there and it's got a drink holder however do not put any drinks in there especially if they're carbonated because they won't be carbonated about 20 minutes later after you're driving so I don't use that but anyway, that's our little John Deere, and uh, I don't know, we might name it, I don't know, who knows, I don't know, everybody seems to want to name Johnny or something like that, or John or something, but I don't know, what do you guys think, tell me in the comments, um, I was thinking just naming it Tom, <laughs> you know, I don't know, and this is our little bush hog, or bushwhacker or brush cutter or something it does cut brush and we used it for about 10 minutes and look it's still got plenty of string on it and it's been <laughs> it's been through some stuff so and over here is our little makeshift sawhorse table we just put a pallet on it and the dinner bell you heard the dinner bell <laughs> And that's our pulling springs, or not pulling springs, pulling springs is water. And uh, that's our 16 inch uh, 
Ah, tug blade. Uh, 16 inch uh, chainsaw. And we started using it today, but it stopped after about a minute of using it. And we've never been able to start it since. So, and we do have oil in it, chain oil, and 50 to 1 ratio on the gas mixture. Uh, other than that, that's about it, except this thing over here. We haven't tried that yet, but wow, does she look awesome. It's a pull behind or rear tine tiller, again from Southland. I might do a uh, video on that soon to uh, show you what she could do. Rear turn tiller. See, it's got. It, we haven't even used it yet. We just put it together. All this stuff, except for the John Deere tractor, you have to put it together. But this wasn't so bad because basically it was all put together, and we just had to put a few things on it. Uh, the tractor we did not have to put together. That thing right there, <laughs> our little bush hog. We had to. Yeah. It, it, pretty much came in pieces except for the motor so but everything's running good and uh, this trailer here it will require two people to put it together unless you got eight foot arms or something or you know or something because you got to turn it upside down you got to put all those nuts and bolts in it and you know We'll screw it in on the other side, and you know you gotta re you gotta have you gotta be a stretch Armstrong to do it with one person. So it's easier to do it with two, and uh, that uh, about wraps it up for today. A day in the life of a Christmas tree farmer. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.